Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. We have the Six of Cups. Five of Cups reversed. Okay, I think this person so far is saying they need their inner child to be recognised. They need to feel a connection that is like soul deep you know an emphasis with the five of cups reversed on the two of cups they need a connection here they need a situation that's going to honor their inner child be healing for their inner child that's going to help pull them out of this um almost apathetic hopeless funk that they may have gotten into whether it's just recently or in their adult life perhaps because they've become jaded in relationships or something like that but they need room for their inner child to come out and play and to be seen and you know to be connected with here Okay, Six of Pentacles, we have the Empress Reverse, Taurus and Libra, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands Reversed, we've got the Two of Swords Reversed, and we have Strength, Leo Energy there. What's on the back? Four of Pentacles. Gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think you're going to hear this and be like, well, I've been doing this. This is someone who needs for you to be um, persistent and patient with them. Now, this is what they're saying they need. It's not so much what they want. So there could even be times where you have been persistent, you have been patient, you are being those things, and they've even seemed to push you away. I'm seeing this person has um, a real separation almost between this in a child that wants recognition and this adult version of themselves that they're putting out there. Have a look. I mean, it, this card says it, shows it and says it really well. We've got this child version of this woman who is in this world of make-believe, sitting in the suitcase, you know, um, with these almost like pilot glasses, um, goggles on, just having fun. And then we've got the adult version that, you know, she just looks worn out, tired, completely fed up. Um, there's a real difference between the two here within this person and they're saying what they need is for you to try and persist in connecting with this inner child because this inner child is longing for recognition but you've got to almost get through this icy exterior of this disconnected adult version of them. Um, now remember what I said at the beginning just because they need it doesn't mean you have to provide it. If you've been trying and trying and trying you know, you're not here to save anyone. You're not here to, to martyr yourself or anything like that. So you can watch this just as information, like an FYI sort of thing. You don't have to do anything with this. Um, but yeah, that's what they're saying. They, they feel that they've maybe had a lack of nurture in their life. We've got divine feminine energy here reversed. So this could look like whoever they're parents or primary caregivers were maybe there was a lack of nurturing energy and I'm not just looking at like a mother figure here I'm looking at adults around them maybe this is someone even as a child they were taught you know suck it up stop crying be strong you know yes we're all suffering in life just get on with it stiff upper lip sort of thing because we've got strength here as well so what would really make this connection and relationship stand out to this person or what does already make it stand out for them is that the energy you're bringing or the way you're interacting with them is connecting with this inner child is saying to them you can play you can be free you can experience all of your emotions you don't have to keep it all within you don't have to only be this version of yourself or that version to be loved and appreciated and seen by me you can be any which way you need and want to be in any given moment um and I do, I feel this is something you've already been doing. You've been patient, you've been connecting with them, you've been making space for them to be their authentic selves. But I think there's been some pushback here. And I think that's why they're saying, even if I have suggested I don't want this from you and I've been uncomfortable, I have been uncomfortable. This is, this level of acceptance is unfamiliar to me and it's triggering um, and it's making me want to show up in ways that I'm deep down afraid of because in the past I was rejected for showing up in these ways as my true self. But um, I need this. This is very healing. This is making me feel seen and appreciated and loved. And I am actually grateful. Um... I feel as well they might want your sort of playful in a child energy to come out and join with theirs. Um, so it's not that they're looking to be parented. It's not like if they didn't have that divine feminine nurturing energy growing up that they want that for you as a replacement. It's more just like um, wanting 
excuse me, wanting to know it's safe to be upset or silly or playful or maybe to be angry but then to calm down and then talk something through you know whatever it is they couldn't be before that they can be this now and the divine feminine energy is shining through more as acceptance or i can meet you where you are i'm not going to tell you oh you're sad today well you need to sort that out because i'm happy and you need to meet me here um it's it's more yeah it's not mothering it's really more acceptance. So if we think of divine feminine as a state of being versus an action of doing, that's kind of what they're saying they need here. So it could even be going at their pace. We do have the eight of wands reversed. Now when it's upright, it's speed, it's movement, it's progress reversed. This could be someone who at least for right now is kind of slowing things down, taking some time out, taking things slow. And they would, they're saying they need and would appreciate, you know, if, if you were able to sort of meet them um and work on their timeline for a bit and i can feel some of you literally laughing like hilarious this is <laughs> what else have i been doing what else can i do you know um so that could be acknowledgement saying look this as, as long as i'm taking as frustrating as this is i do appreciate this um this is not something i've had before in connections i've always had to shape shift and um as a result i've become you know this strength energy but i'm surprised it's not reversed to be honest it almost feels like it's not a healthy feeling I'm getting from this card within this this context and this spread it's almost like strength at all costs even if I'm drowning within I'm going to show up as strong determined focused I don't have emotions I am just strength personified that's it um so it's like they need that recognition that there's more depth that I think you have been showing them and they're kind of saying please keep up with that even if at times I don't seem grateful you know we can look at this woman the adult here and we could say she's not even noticing us she's not grateful she's just sort of she's not even doing anything to help herself but look at her in a child is you know it's having fun it's playing here so um they do notice they do appreciate and I think they're saying yes this is what I need more of um okay yeah anything else then let's see anything else four of pentacles on the back you know this is someone who really holds a lot within I think as well, this is someone who, because of perhaps the either um, absent divine feminine energy around them growing up or the distorted divine feminine energy, they have maybe a pretty difficult, even toxic relationship with their own divine feminine energy, whether they are a man or woman. Um, and this is something I think they're balancing out and healing, but it's like, I don't need you to do this for me again. I don't expect you or even want you to parent me, but I really do need and appreciate being given the room to explore this, to figure out the balance, to learn, to grow and to integrate, you know, my masculine and feminine energies for myself. Um, so really this is about patience, acceptance, compassion. And I feel this is what you've been providing. And they're saying, yeah, I really need this. I'm thriving on this. I may not show it. I may even do the opposite, but I am appreciative. Um, okay. We have the hanged man reversed, Pisces. Yeah, look at this, the emperor in reverse. Aries there. And we have the page of pentacles reversed. Yes, the child. Um, all pages can be children. But for me, it's, you know, I mainly look at the page of pentacles as the child, you know, pentacles being that manifested energy. Yeah, this person's working out within themselves, the masculine, the feminine, um, hanged man in reverse. I feel they've, they've really um, grown a lot within this connection. So many things they haven't shared with you. So many things they haven't even been able to articulate even to themselves. It's more of a, a feeling, a knowing, an awakening, an understanding. Um, reversed, it tells me they're actively pondering these things, growing in, grow, growing into themselves, exploring with different ways of showing up in the world. Um, and sometimes, yeah, both masculine and feminine here, emperor and empress are reversed. Sometimes they might lean too much one way or another, but it's like they're trying to play, figure it out, find out what is the, the healthy balance here. Um, so yeah, okay. So that's their 3D self. Let's have a look at their 5D self. 
and how this might look you know the imbalance it might be sometimes they come on strong sometimes they pull back so it could look like cotton cold behavior it could be sometimes you think they need to put more effort and they don't sometimes you're thinking gosh this person is being you know really keen right now whether it's actually you know seeing you writing to you connecting with you energetically and you're confused like what's the purpose of this i'm not sure why we're having so much contact um it could be them trying to you know as i said work things out integrate um, the energies within themselves and I wonder if in the past in this connection or relationship you may have found that um, you might have been overcompensating in one of these areas for this person and they may have been overdoing it in another area um, and they could even be I'm hearing they could have been a tower moment because spirit was looking on like no 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 that's not how this can be you know this cannot move forward in this way we need to reset the foundation reset the balance um, and both of you need to be healed balance your your masculine and feminine's feminine energy within yourselves and then we can we can restart or keep moving forward um it doesn't have to have exactly looked like that but there could have been something that was <laughs> oh i'm channeling quicker than i can speak there could have been something that was a surprise something unexpected here that kind of put a stop to things or really shook things up um and it, it maybe you're in complete no contact now not speaking not seeing each other for some of you and there are lots of changes going on while you're in these sort of separate spaces but then when you come back together and i do feel like that will happen whether you know you want this to move forward in, in a relationship or connection or just for closure whatever it is i do think there will be another interaction here um and that this will come back together i feel that you may both be showing up differently or interacting with each other differently which will make the connection run um i'm hearing more smoothly between you i just saw death here so we've got scorpio but yeah we have this um ending this transition um self-reflection as well during any times of isolation or separation okay so from their higher self's perspective what does this person need within this um connection or relationship I know I keep saying it, but I just feel it's really important to say, you know, none of this means you have to do anything. Ace of Pentacles, okay. Six of Wands. This person, their higher self is saying they need to be proud of themselves. They need to be the one to pull through opportunities for themselves in their life. Um... It's almost like they need some kind of external success. Um, and it's not because we need that for validation. So it's not like in place of feeling successful within, they're just going to keep um, making money or getting promotions or buying new cars or whatever it is outside. It's not that. It's more that I think this might be someone who in the past or for most of their life maybe has felt insecure about how they have manifested in the world whether it's how they've interacted with people the relationships and friendships around them um something to do maybe with school education work um it's just their perspective of themselves it's almost like externally they felt like okay I'm, I'm fronting pretty well no one knows i'm looking okay here but i'm not that proud of myself and it, it could even be you know let's say doesn't mean objectively they're doing terribly it could be that someone objectively does have a fantastic um job home whatever it is but because it's not in alignment with them within it doesn't feel like success to them it doesn't you know they're not proud of themselves so there's some way in which they need to start or to continue to manifest an external physical reality that does make them proud within really it's about confidence it's about saying gosh i did that i can do that um, I haven't just been pretending to be strong. I actually am competent and strong. And I am strong when I fully engage with all of my emotions, all aspects of me. When I don't shove a bunch of parts of myself into my shadow because, you know, that's what I had to do to survive when I was younger or something like that. Okay, what do they need? We've got the High Priestess reversed, more Pisces there. seven of coins reversed i'm hearing again this is someone who 
Oh gosh, it's not funny, but it's just, oh, I think maybe you've been exhausted at times within this connection because the thing, the very thing they need is the, the very thing they've rejected and pushed away, which is you seeing and fully accepting them for who they are, because it's easier and it's more comfortable for them if you in the past would have just connected with this image of themselves they were projecting out there but it's like you refused you you know you were determined to be authentic to this connection and that's exactly what they need needed and need and appreciate but oh I feel like it's really freaked them out in the past or they've rejected it or they've told you you're crazy or oh you've got me wrong I'm not that kind of person or this isn't this kind of a situation okay um, I'm hearing the letter T. T is important. Someone's first name could begin with a T. Six of, yes, you see six of cups reversed. This is childhood, but for me, when this card's reversed, it's like we're putting something in the past once and for all. This person needs to, it's like they've got to do this for themselves. They've got to achieve something, do something, overcome something, some kind of barrier that, that I think they erected in childhood. They've got to tear that down, overcome it, leap over it, whatever they need to do to get past it and manifest something now um, that's coming from this place of balance, um, you know, of them being in their fullness, not just, just whatever they think they need to be. Um, so self-acceptance, yeah, balancing out the masculine and feminine, achieving something that they are actually proud of in the 3D. Maybe in the past, you know, they did what other people thought they should do, whether it was studying something, practicing something, um, some kind of work, even relationship partners they may have chosen based on what they think their friends and family would approve of, you know? They've got to do something for themselves here. Yes, Seven of Cups reverse. This is someone who has many goals um many dreams and i think many of them have remained as dreams fantasies that they've really kept private um to themselves for fear of being rejected for them so if you're wondering in a very practical way if you're in connection with this person or in a full-blown relationship and you're feeling that there is a feeling of things being stalled or you want to take it to the next level or you want to connect in a deeper way or let's say it's a connection and there's no contact and you want to reconnect with them in terms of timing you might be thinking when is this going to happen when is this going to come back together when are we going to take some kind of next step towards further commitment or becoming um closer with each other i think it might be after this person has achieved something something in the 3d so that could be a sign if this person tells you or starts posting about oh, i've got a new job or i managed to buy this car or um i don't know whatever it is and again these things can sound shallow but like with the car example maybe they've never owned a car um and for them, you know, they've, they've worked hard, they've saved up all their money, they've got this car. It, it's a symbol of it. It means so much to them. So whatever it is, if you start seeing something like that, um, that's a good indication that this person has done so much work, inner work. They're balancing themselves out. They're acting from this place now of true authenticity. It's manifesting in the 3D. They're going after some of these real goals and dreams. That's going to be your indication that this is moving closer towards the reconnection or the next step in the development of this relationship. Okay, what else? From this person's higher self, what do they need in this connection or relationship with my viewer? It could also be I'm hearing they pass an exam or something like that. Okay, justice reversed, Libra. And then we have the um, eight of swords reversed. I feel for some of them, um, the higher self is saying they they might need to go through therapy. Um, I don't know if they're doing this, speaking with someone. Obviously, this isn't really what they need from you. Um, but just as a side note, uh, there are going to be varying degrees of... Okay, I think this is, you know, as I've said, this is someone who in their childhood was done some kind of injustice and it could, it could just, there's a, a scale, right? It could be just that um, their parents or caregivers were loving and caring and doing the best they could and without realising it through their own mindset or wounds or whatever showed your person here 
oh, you need to show up in the world this way, not this way. And it was, you know, they were well-meaning, they weren't trying to, to be unfair. Right through to your person here really went through um, some horrendous things and they are rightly feeling like that was bang out of order and absolutely unfair on me to go through that as a child. So, or it could be somewhere in the middle, you know? But the fact is, whatever happened, whatever end of the scale they're on or, or leaning towards, whatever happened, happened. And their higher self is saying they've now got to work through and process this if they don't want this to continue to impact the rest of their life. Um, and one way, you know, could be through therapy, which again, you know, the higher self would be saying they're going to need some time to go through this process, some, some consideration, compassion, you know, patience, all the things you've been giving already. Um, okay. I also feel, now this is a very specific message, for some of you, if you know your person is um, part of a group, it could be um, a work situation, so a place of employment, it could be something religious, it could be something to do with, um, it could even be like a, a group of friends or peers or their social group, but it, it's almost like, I don't want to use the word cult because that's that's like a lot, but it, it feels like that. It feels like if you're part of this group, you're part of it. There's no, there, there's no, you know, you can't be in and out or here sometimes and not. If you're in, you're in. It's very difficult to get out. And how this group looks at the world is like right, wrong, you know? And right is however the group does it. Wrong is how everyone else does it. So, it could be any any kind of institution or group um, that you know your person is affiliated with strongly and the higher self is saying they actually need to get out of this, they need to break away from this. Um, yeah, that, that's not going to be for everyone. Um, let me clarify, seven of pentacles reversed, eight of swords reversed. Look at that, judgment in reverse. Yeah, they need to have some kind of a breakthrough. And look what's on the back, four of coins reversed. Yes, they need to reveal more of their true selves. So I think overall the message is, you know, from your person's 5D self and their 3D self, so their conscious self is saying to you, I know what I need here is not what I've always wanted, but I, I want you to know I'm grateful. Um, I want you to keep connecting to my authentic self um, even if I try and show you the mask that I present to the rest of the world and I try to get you to connect with that and buy into any, you know, misdirection or lies or, you know, if I try and put you off or if, you know, whatever I'm doing, I actually need for you to keep ignoring that um, or, or telling me to cut it out or whatever it is you've been doing, you know, um, just keep connecting with my authentic self. Um, and saying that they're grateful, their higher self is saying yes, they, they need to keep moving forward on that journey and actually start to manifest a 3D reality that aligns with this more balanced, healed, whole self. Um, and a sign, actually, in terms of timing, is seeing them have some kind of a success that they're really, really proud of and that everyone's sort of like proud of them for. Um, and then, you know, in a few cases, it could be um as i said that you know your person's affiliated with some kind of a group that's really controlling um and their higher self is saying they've got to break away from that but um yeah okay so i feel what they're asking for is things you've already been doing and really they're kind of just trying to say look i'm trying to acknowledge that i know you've been doing it and i know I've, you know it hasn't been easy um but i want to say thank you and to show my appreciation um, and yeah, one more time, I'm going to say just because they're saying they need it doesn't mean you have to provide it. If you, you know, if you're like, yep, I'm here, I'm patient, you know, fantastic. If you're saying, you know, best to you, I'll hold space for you, but it's been long enough and I've been patient enough, I'm moving forward, then great. You know, whatever works for you, wherever you are with this, um, this is really just information for you to use however you want, really. Um, okay, so I will leave this here, but thank you for watching. Let me know if it resonated. And um, if you're watching this before the weekend when it's published, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.